Hey guys, Fat Cat's back, and I'm doing another review. I have been gone for a while, just off the YouTube, I don't know why. I actually finished this book a long time ago, but... Not a long time, but a few days ago. But I never got the time to do a review, so now I will do a review. Um, this is The Lightning Thief in the Percy Jackson and the Libyan series. And this is the first book, um, and I think it's a really good book. It's by Rick Riordan, and... Um, I don't think, um, I might go into spoilers a little bit, so just be warned, I might not go into too many spoilers, but if you don't want any spoilers at all, then you should probably leave this video. But, I don't think there's gonna be too many spoilers, but, yeah. So basically, the story is about a young boy who's 12 years old named Percy Jackson, and he finds out he is a demigod, which means that his, one of his parents is a god, a Greek god. And he finds out that his father is Poseidon, and so he goes to this camp called Camp Half-Blood, and, yeah, he go and skipping many details, he goes on this quest, and stuff happens, I'm not going to go into too much of it, but, yeah, I really like why, um, it is, let me find it, oops, I think I know the exact number, but I'm just trying to clarify. And it's starting to page, 75 pages long. Um, it's a really nice looking book, too. Here's the back. Um, obviously, the, the, the theme colors are like teal and darker blue. So, yeah. Here's the cover. I really, I really like the cover. One thing I want to point out is when I saw the movie, I, I, I like... Oh, it looks green. It looks like the Emerald City. It actually looks a lot more green. Okay, now it looks normal. It looked really green. It's not really too much green. Um, but the one thing I want to say is, I, when I first watched the movie, I really liked it. And I thought it was a really good movie. Um, sorry. But then I read the book, and it's totally different. Like, I'm not even... Like, I don't go... I'm not a person that really flips out over minor, minor details changed. Like, Harry Potter, they changed some of the stuff. They changed some of the stuff. But I get over it, and I see why they had to do that. Because I'm interested in film myself. And I see why they have to make those changes to fit in with time and everything. But for Percy Jackson, they changed the whole story. Like, they, they had the key points down, but they changed the whole plot. Like, the plot was different. They weren't searching for those pearls, I think they were, but they weren't. Um, they ended up getting the pearls, but they weren't searching for them, That and that wasn't their plot point. Um, they never got, they never, um, no, actually, no, never mind. Um, but, yeah, the home movie was, like, different. Oh, now it looks blue. <laughs> I just realized now it looks blue. Um, but, yeah, it, the movie was really different compared to the book. There were a lot of things that weren't in the movie that were in the book that were actually important to the movie. But, yeah, that's my review. I am actually reading Sea of Monsters. Oh, that's a drastic change of color. I'm actually reading Sea of Monsters right now. Um, I have been really busy lately. Um, so, yeah, I haven't been reading a lot, but I find time to read. And so I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.